finding support today, we can look at the complete inverse correlation with gold, which is now selling off, giving back gains. It's back at 12.53. As I mentioned, we came out of this trade already. Uh, so we are open to new trade ideas around this zone, which could lead to a potential correction lower here for gold. I'm not necessarily convinced that we're going to continue this move to the upside. We'll have to see. You can see short term we're overbought. Uh, certainly this rejection candle for me on the daily chart. I've had a lot of questions at the Gold and Silver Club whether you should take this as an additional trade, the break above yesterday's high, the 1260 zone, whether it's going to run up towards the 1300s and so forth. And the answer to that is that we at the moment, buying at the highs there from a risk to reward perspective, not ideal. Uh, unless you were already in the trade, you can trade up your stop loss or take some partial profits. But fresh entry at that level, not a good idea. You're at key resistance, which has been resistance going back in the chart to February and March. We have encountered resistance here again. We're pulling back. Now, it might be that the pullback gets supported. We're coming into this whole confluence of a number of moving averages, uh, which are converging at a similar level, which is around the 1240 zone, possibly a pullback to that level, which gets bid back into. Could be an opportunity to buy or we're just going to see it roll over but you have to remember a lot of this move sudden move to the upside on gold and silver has been off the back of quite a lot of political turbulence and if that calms down in the background if we see that start to fizzle out over the next couple of days then we could start to see a correction lower again with gold and silver and I'm still not ruling out the possibility to see another move lower in anticipation of the FOMC statement which is going to be approximately a month from now on the 14th of uh, the 14th, Wednesday, the 14th of June. Uh, so we can normally ahead of that, we do see weakness in the precious metals in the lead up to that. Obviously, that's uh, another month away. So we've still got time to see how this price action plays out. But uh, we have come into resistance here around the 1260 zone for gold. Watching now for the next entry, really, to see what plays out next, whether we're going to just get a resolution and see just this roll over back towards the, the lower end of these support channels or whether this, this is just temporary and we see a resumption of this upward trend. Just moving over to silver as well. 